So today I'm at the river park and I'm going to show you guys some wild edibles. Um, I'm not an expert so please take caution when foraging for wild edibles because there's a lot of wild edibles that can be very deadly. So right now I'm at the park. I'm going to go walk down this trail over here and see if I can find some wild edibles. So I'm walking along the trail. There's a little wooden dock trail and then I came off the trail here and there's a little animal trail that I was following and there's a great big patch of miner's lettuce. Now this uh, miner's lettuce is a lot easier to identify in its adult stage because it'll actually have circular leaves with a stem coming out of the middle of the leaf. And I'll show you what I brought with me and how I'm going to harvest some of these. Here's what I brought, just a plastic Ziploc bag and some shears so I can save the roots. So there we are, I got a couple handfuls of miner's lettuce. I love miner's lettuce, it's one of my favorite edibles because it doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. It's not bitter at all and it's very juicy. Good for juicing, has vitamin A and lots of vitamin C. Right here is a cool little spot. Got all kinds of curly dock plants. Just huge, they're all some of them look like it could be seven foot tall. But curly dock is a good wild edible. And here they get huge for some reason. I've seen some leaves on these in the summertime that were like banana leaves. They were just huge. All I'm going to do to harvest the dock plant is down at the bottom there's some small growth. Since there's so many here, I'm going to go ahead and take some baby leaves. They're less bitter. Dock is a, a plant you don't want to eat too much of because it has something in it that's not good for us in large quantities. But it does have a lot of vitamins, so I'm going to take a few of these leaves. Just the little baby ones. They still had some frost on it. It's, it's early morning. And in the middle of all this dock is some plantain, which goes pretty much everywhere around the world. Yours might look a little different. Some of them are a lot wider. These are here in Northern California are a lot thinner. I actually think we have both varieties. But these are also a good salad green. You can boil them up, they're really good. That's what I mean about these dock leaves, they're just huge. This is curly dock, it's supposed to be a smaller variety. It's definitely dock because it has the big stalk that comes out of the middle. And this one is, it's a good 10 foot tall. It's huge. If there's anyone out there that can tell me, maybe this is a different plant, but it looks identical. And these are actually small leaves compared to what they get to. Right here is wild rose. The hips are used for uh, teas, and they're actually kind of a sweet little berry. They have big seeds in it. You might not like those, but I won't be taking many of these. I might take a few home, but there's not a whole lot here, so I'll just leave them. All right, I was looking down here at these clovers, and right next to it are four-leaf clovers, which I guess are pretty rare. Well, that's all the wild edibles I can find out here this time of year, but I'm going to head home and I'm going to show you some uh, wild edibles that you can actually find in your backyard. A lot of them are the same ones that I found out here, but there's a few others that uh, they don't grow as big in my backyard because the ground here is just way more fertile, I think, from the flooding from the river. But anyways, I wanted to show you how I have my camera set up. So I'm just going to take a picture of the camera here. and. 
It works out pretty good, actually. So, anyways, we're going to get back home and I'll show you all the leaves that I'm using for my salad and uh, how I'm going to prepare it. So there's the bag of greens I collected. Go home and get some more greens out of the backyard and make a nice salad. So here's a wild edible that's in my backyard. Most of you are thinking, that looks like a weed. Well, I'll dig it up and I'll show you that there's something, there's a special surprise at the roots. So this plant is responsible for millions of deaths maybe billions who knows but it is one of the most commonly ate foods and uh well let's let's pull it up here reach in there here let me let you get a closer look here and there it is yep it's a hamburger yeah, that's a hamburger plant. Grows uh, jack-in-the-box hamburgers. It's actually, yeah, here, let's open it up and I'll show you how to eat these. So you just take them like this. Now after the first of the year, I won't be eating these anymore. My resolution is to quit eating meat altogether. And of course that's not a real plant and that's actually, I think it's a milkweed. We'll move on to some real wild edibles. Right here next to my house is, for reals this time, some dandelion greens. But I'm not going to harvest the large ones. One of the easy ways to identify a dandelion is the back of the leaf. The stem is smooth. There's no hairs or spines or anything. Right here's white sorrel growing against my house. It's a little sour. It's a good little bit to add to your salad. You don't want to eat too much of this. Right here next to the slide. Sorry about the wind. But if you look down closer, there's some chickweed. This is a tasty green as well. Down here we've got some baby mallow. And there's a bunch of baby mallow in here so I'll pick out a few of those and add those to the salad as well. Right here's some garlic. I've actually took the grass around it off so that it gets more sunlight and I'm actually gonna pick a few of these off the top here is greens for the salad. My yard is also about 50% clover and 50% grass, so I'll be picking some clover as well. Here are all the different leaves in the one salad. This is dandelion greens, wood sorrel, we have miner's lettuce, mallow, garlic chives, plantain, chickweed, and here are all the plants that are from my garden, some chard, wait that's not chard, here are all the plants from my garden, this is chard right here, here's collard, Some red sail lettuce. Some other variety of red sail lettuce. And some red chard. Alright. 